Did you know your Stream Deck will let you program multiple actions into one button when you press it? It's pretty cool. So, for example, if you set up a start button on your Stream Deck, you can press one button, it'll go to the scene you want, it'll record all in one button press rather than having to hit a million buttons to get started, for example. I'll show you how to set that up in this tutorial today. Also, there's something called a multi-action switch. And what that allows you to do is have the same button do two different things if you press it once, it does one set of things, and you press it again, it does a different set of things, all in one button. All in today's tutorial, this is some advanced Stream Deck stuff. But this can really help you optimize all the buttons that you have on your Stream Deck to do precisely what you want. Couple prerequisites here. First things first, of course, you need to own a Stream Deck. So there's the six key, 15 key, and 32 key option. Link in the description below. If you have not already purchased those, that's an affiliate link. Once you purchase your Stream Deck, you need to search for Stream Deck software. You need to install it by going to the official Elgato page. And then you need to download and update the firmware on your Stream Deck. If anything I just said was confusing, it's all good. I've got a link in the description below to the uh, official tutorial playlist I put together for Stream Deck. It walks you through all that. So you can be right here with us today doing these advanced Stream Deck items. Okay, so in order to do a multi-action, you need to locate the Stream Deck icon here in your options here in your Stream Deck software, and then you'll see multi-action right here. So what you do, just like any other button, you drag the multi-action right over here. And as you can see, it pulls up a new menu. So what you have to do is plug in multiple actions into this multi-action screen. I know that maybe can be kind of confusing, but let me just make it easy for you. So title this multi-action. So let's say when you want to start recording, we'll call it start. Uh, right when you fire it up, I'm going to go over here to OBS. Uh, when you start recording, obviously you want it to start recording. So drag and drop recording there. It's just an example, guys, just for inspiration. And then let's say at the same time that you start recording, you want it to go to a specific scene in your stream deck. Cool. So I'll have it go to scene two. And we'll always name your items, by the way, in your stream deck so you know what they are for later. Scene two. Cool. So now... When I hit this button on my Stream Deck, this Start button here on my Stream Deck, it's going to start recording and go to Scene 2. Check it out. I'm going to press it on my deck right now. And boom, as you can see behind me, it started recording right here, and then it went to Scene 2, all in the press of one button. That's multi-action. So you can do a start, you can do a stop, you can do a streaming, you can do different combinations of sound effects, you name it. But wait, there's more. This next one may be very interesting to you guys especially those of you that had a Stream Deck Mini and you don't have that many buttons, or those of you guys that are running out of real estate when it comes to your buttons, and that function is called the multi-action switch. I love the multi-action switch. This is an underutilized button. So drag multi-action switch here and check it out. It's basically two multi-actions, but on the same um, key. So let's just do a simple example, and I think you guys will get the point. So let's say... When you press that button for the first time, you want it to go to one scene, right? Or you want it to do whatever thing, right? And then let's say when you press the button the second time, you want it to do some other thing. So I'm just going to, for example, have it go to scene two. This can be any of the functions of the stream deck. Like let your imagination go wild. And I'm going to call this scene, right? And so if you wanted to, and let's say you have two scenes you like to switch between, just as an idea for inspiration here. Um, what you're going to do is uh, be able to press this one button, and it's going to do both of those things whenever you press it, which is really cool. And you, by the way, you can name each function with this multi-action. So when you press the button, it'll actually display that name on the screen when you're pressing it. So check it out. I've got my button program to go to scene one on press one and scene two on press two, all in one button. Watch. Scene one, scene two. Scene one, scene two, all in one button. And notice how it changes here on the Stream Deck. It tells you what would happen if you hit the button. So right now it says scene one. So the Stream Deck's telling you, if you press it, you'll get scene one. Now that I'm on scene one, the Stream Deck is telling you, you will get scene two if you press me, scene two. Cool? Does that let you save some buttons on your Stream Deck? I hope it does. It helped me save some buttons. Even with my XL, it started getting cluttered up with these uh, big shows that I do as a part of uh, as a part of my job. So anyway, if you guys are doing something more complex or you'd like advice on your YouTube channel, your home studio setup, 
I'm here for you. AWOLDigital.com is my website. Just go to the website. Just book me for one-on-one -on -one coaching if you need me to help you with what you're doing. Just go to the calendar, pick your day, pick your time, and just literally enter your information. And boom, I'm on a one-on-one -on -one video call with you helping you succeed with online broadcasting. Best of luck. Enjoy your stream deck. And hopefully I saved you some real estate with those keys on there. Adios. Take care.